Everyone is turning on Joe Biden, except for the establishment liberals. But everyone else is, not just the conservatives, not just the, the people who have been radicalized, to the, even Cardi B. The well-known economist, Sterling Professor of Economics, Dr. Cardi B, Professor B said, quote, when y'all think they're going to announce that we're going into a recession? When y'all think they're going to do that? Cardi B knows that the economy is in bad shape. Have you bought food recently? I bought food last night and I was shocked at how expensive it is. The only reason I wasn't more shocked is because I bought food somewhat recently. I bought food last week too. And I was shocked then at how expensive it is. You buy gas recently, you pay for anything recently. You look at the fundamentals of our economy recently. You look at your stock portfolio, your retirement account recently. Things are not looking good in the economy. Cardi B knows it. The conservatives know it. The only people who don't seem to know it or don't want to admit it or don't even care are the establishment liberals who still insist to us this is the greatest economic recovery ever in our imaginations. In the same place where men are, are women and babies aren't really babies. That's where the economy is flourishing. Speaking of our economy, there was a video that went viral yesterday on the internet. People talking about what, what terrible things this means for the American economy. And it was this, I thought, generally charming video of two young women sitting in a pool with their laptops, describing how they're doing their job from, from the pool deck because they don't need to go into an office right now. My coworkers keep saying I need to make like a tech TikTok. Because if you look at my TikTok, you'd never guess I have a job. <laughs> so um, anyways, this is our current workstation. Callie and I are what you call product managers. Callie, what is your team over? My team is over recording and internal tools. And I am over what we call card experience. So we work on like anything from activating your credit card to freezing, reissue, shipping, all the good stuff. Um, what's a PM? Um, we help prioritize and um, help the engineers stay on track and help them know what to build so that you have a product to use. Yeah, exactly. So you might have a team, like the engineers actually do the developing, the coding, which is the impressive part. Um, designers also do the impressive part, which is everything you see when you're in a software. Product managers essentially decide what the team's going to work on, do competitive research, um, prioritize bugs, keep everyone focused, motivated and driving towards business outcomes. So that's what we do. I found this video very charming. I, everyone was dunking on these girls. I, why are they dunking on these girls? So these girls have an easy job. Okay, that's fine. People have had easy jobs before. The girls are saying, yeah, in our job, we, it doesn't even look like we have a job because we're just on TikTok all day and we sit out here by the pool all day. And yeah, we don't, and we can, we're making a TikTok about sitting out at the pool, about how our job is really easy. Okay, I don't begrudge them that. They're also young girls. They look like they're in their 20s. They're probably, if I'm, I'm just taking out my Nostradamus out here on my crystal ball, they're probably just going to like meet a guy in their 20s and get married. And they're not, they're pro what I'm saying is they're probably not 100% totally driven by their career, nor should they be. That's fine. I don't think we all need to be automatons slaving away in some box all day long doing spreadsheets for Mr. Jenkins to, to get some more dollars to go consume more stuff in the economy. That's fine. Good for them. They get to sit out by the pool. The, the legitimate fear, I think, the legitimate criticism that comes from this video is, it, look, it's fine if some people have those jobs, especially if they have other interests in their life and they don't want to do this forever and they want to move on and have a family and do other things. The fear is when everyone's doing that. <laughs> we can't have a country where everyone is sitting out by the pool making TikToks about how they're not doing their actual job or, or how they are, but their actual job doesn't require them to do very much. It, when the entire economy is doing that, then we're really in trouble. And that's the place we are right now after two years. From the very beginning of the lockdowns, I thought this is a bad thing because what I know is you don't get something for nothing. 
you, you can't, you can't just sit around all day and not do it everything and still have a flourishing country that's growing and vibrant. It doesn't work. When people point out that communist societies have terrible stagnant economies, very often we don't explain why that is, or we don't think about why that is. The reason communist economies are so terrible is because people don't work there. It's because the incentives don't exist for people to go out and do work. So the, the people in communist countries often are pretty lazy. <laughs> they often are not very driven. They're disincentivized from going out and doing work. There is a structural problem there, but that, that's why. And if we're living in a country where we're all just doing that now, where we're all just sitting by the pool, taking TikTok, sipping our pina coladas, occasionally typing some buttons on our laptop, we're not going to have a flourishing country. We need to go out and do things. We need to do things that are bigger than ourselves. Unfortunately, we, we've gotten into this mindset of, well, listen, if, I, if there's even a slight chance that I could get a slight cough from a virus that doesn't really pose a particularly great threat to me, then I'm just going to sit home for two years. Well, if, I'm, if I have to go out there and do anything extra that's going to detract from my going to brunch and sitting at home and buying on lots of nice, fun, cool gizmos and gadgets, then I just don't want to do that. That mindset is, is death for a country. We have to think beyond ourselves, beyond our own pleasure, beyond how we want to be called, beyond what we think, usually mistakenly, will make us feel really good. We need to think, what's this about? What's this for? What is my role here? Did you like that clip? I'm glad you did. Ring, ding, like, slam, smash, you know, whatever. Whatever you got to do, subscribe. Get the notifications to The Michael Knowles Show. Also, head on over to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, Google Play, wherever you get your audio podcasts. Subscribe over there. Go to dailywire.com. Subscribe. Just subscribe everywhere. And leave a five-star review wherever you can. We'll see you next time.